Before I take out these butterball fluffer nutters, please subscribe to my veterinary channel and hit that thumbs up. It really helps my videos circulate to other pet lovers like yourself. And if you're not following my Instagram already, Lindsay Butzer DVM, please go follow that. I post a lot of stories of me working at the animal hospital um, and live feed of cases that I see on a daily basis. All right, guys, let's get into how to make your cat the cuddliest cat on the planet. <laughs> So what do we know about cats, guys? A cat is a cat and that is that. All right, no, but seriously, cats are cats. Some cats are shy and timid and swat you if you try to pet them and other cats will just flop over and they're friendly or they put their head up to get pet. So we need to take into consideration the breed of cat that you have. Fancy cats are gonna be friendlier, or they should be friendlier, not all of them will be, but a Sphinx, a Persian, a Ragdoll, these are purebred cats that are bred to be friendly. And then you have your shelter cats who may have had a hard upbringing. They might have been found outside in a bush trying to survive, and they're timid and shy, or they were found and they were found outside and they're still really friendly. So we need to think about where this kitten came from and then that'll also help you to socialize them and condition them and to gauge how much love you need to give them. If your cat is already super friendly, you might not need to work so hard, but you might be at this video because your cat isn't that friendly. So let's get into the ways to ensure that. So number one, be gentle and kind to your new kitten. Don't treat them like an adult cat because they aren't. They're a baby and you have to treat them like a baby by talking to them like a baby in a baby voice. Like, oh my God, you're so cute. We love you so much. Holding them like a baby in your arms and rocking them or laying them on the couch, giving them tons of kisses, playing with them as if you're another mom cat playing with them or how their litter mates played with them by batting around little toys, little ball toys with frills. Do this with them several times a day so they get really comfortable with you. So swatting those cat balls across the room, the kitten will go and chase it and even bring it back to you. You might even be able to teach them fetch. You can also feed them little treats. Food is always a great way to show your baby kitten that you love them and you're there to nurture them and provide them with food. All right, let's take a quick cat break and look at Priscilla and Roger before I go on to the next two things so you don't wanna miss the other tips I have, but let's check them out. They're falling asleep, honestly, bored of me. Come here, guys. Priscilla. So I actually kept Priscilla. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that she is one of Gemma and Stanley's babies. So she is a dilute torty ragdoll. She is so pretty. Ooh, lots of kisses. I utilize all these techniques on my cats and they do have different personalities. So Priscilla is a little bit nervous, even though I raised her as a kitten. I still have to work with her all the time to make sure that she is friendly. I give her a ton of kisses. Now she has all my lipstick all over her. Um, but yeah, Priscilla is so sweet. She is still a little shy though, but she's doing great. Like I, I do all the stuff with her that I explained in this video to make her a friendly cat. And I have a whole video on scruffing that I've made. So scruffing them is a way that you can easily uh, manipulate your cat to hold them and move them around and it doesn't hurt them. Um, so yeah, some scratches under the chin. Just giving them lots of, <laughs> lots of cuddles and snuggles. You good girl? I love you. Holy. And this is Roger. Roger is beautiful. Look at this baby. I'm not gonna kiss him because my red lipstick is gonna get all over your beautiful white tiger fur. So Roger actually came to me a little more friendly than Priscilla, to be honest. It's just his personality. And maybe male cats are a little more relaxed in the ragdoll world, but Roger was so friendly as a kitten. You're a good boy, huh? You're so curious. You just wanted to do everything and come snuggle with me in the bed. He just loves love. So look at this, if you guys are a first time cat owner, 
cats love love just like dogs. You really do need to tell them I love you and treat them like a baby because they feel that energy. Um, so when they're a kitten, really baby them as if you'd baby a puppy and they're gonna come out friendly. Not all cats crave attention um, and you'll get to know your cat as you raise them, what they like and what they don't like. But to get this loving cat, I'm gonna tell you the two other things that I do that will help you have a very cuddly social cat. So number two is socializing and conditioning your cat to be friendly. So your cat is a kitten right now when you got them, or they might be an adult cat and this video will still work for you. And they don't know what's safe and what's not safe. So you're gonna have to condition your cat to experiences to get them confidence. So that confidence will make them social and less scared of things. So you can start doing this by first carrying them around the house. And I also love telling people to set them on counters or surfaces wherever you go in the house where they can be up high to stay safe. If you have dogs in the house, this is a place your cat can go up high to get out of the way and still feel safe and confident in the room with everyone. This gives them their own confidence that they can jump out from hiding places since they will learn where the safe places are in the house. Another thing you could do is play music when you're playing with them so they get used to loud noises. You can also clean and gently shut cabinets while holding them so they get used to those loud slamming sounds and won't be afraid when they hear it. Another thing you can do is talk on the phone with your friends while holding your cat so they get used to you being excited, animated, talking loud or even laughing, and you're moving around with them and it just conditions them to be less afraid. The next thing is buying a bunch of cat toys and especially cat wands that have bells on it because it catches their attention or these little feathers, they love it. So when they hear the cat wand coming out, they will be happy. And when you invite friends and family over, which is the next thing I was gonna tell you to do to help socialize them and just have people around, if you bring out your cat wand, you can play with your cats with them and everybody is in a good mood. The last thing is talk to your kitty or your new cat and use their name a lot. So this is the main thing, using their name and saying, oh Priscilla, what a good kitty. Oh Roger, I love you Roger. Talking to them really sweet and loving makes them happy just like it would make us happy. They're loving little animal fluffy creatures too, you know? So I use their name all the time, just walking around the house if I see them and I make eye contact, I say, hey Priscilla, how's it going Priscilla? Hi Roger. And you might think you're like a crazy person, I sound like it right now just doing this for you, but it really works. And as a veterinarian, I love when the cats are very responsive to their names because when they come to the vet and I ask the owner or I know their name from the chart, and I use their name like, hey Lily, what a good cat Lily. It helps calm the cat down right away when they hear that word that they've heard so often and they know that word is their name. So all of my cats, I have six cats, and if I say their names, they come out when I say their name or they meow. So they really do know their names. So if you're new here and you're a new cat owner, they do know it. Um, <laughs> there goes Priscilla. But uh, it's just really important to use their name and talk to them a lot because it'll make them feel comfortable. Even when family members come over, you can tell them your cat's name and have them use it. And then it immediately uh, makes the cat feel happy and feel special. And this last tip is my favorite. And that is holding your arms up when you go to pick up your kitten or your cat because that's what your friends are gonna do when they wanna pick up your cat. Because when you approach a dog, you let them smell you and stuff like that, but cats are so different. They don't wanna be picked up or anything like that. But if you start to teach them that when you go up to them like this, you're gonna pick them up, they start knowing that and they're not gonna be afraid that they're about to be picked up. They actually know what's gonna happen. So I love that. I actually made that one up myself and it really works. So I've been raising kittens for a long time. So I always go up to them like this and they kind of just hold their place and I can pick them up. 
It's great. Comment below if you like that tip. Priscilla's being so sweet right now. So petting cats under the chin, they really love that. And just giving them little hugs and rocking them. Cats are really, really cool. They're such sweet pets. People love their cats. And they're a low maintenance pet too. You know, you don't have to walk them and stuff. So even if you landed on this video just because you were searching for a cat, you learned a lot about them today and you just gotta be so loving to them. They get excited when you come home from work. They're really cute little creatures. All right guys, so if you enjoyed this video and you learned something today about how to socialize your new kitten, please hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up to help my video circulate and comment below if this video helped you or put other tips that you guys used to help socialize your cats. It'll help other cat owners here read those comments and give them some more tips on how to raise their cat. All right guys, I will see you next week.